Hi, I'm Joe from AWS, and today we're going to talk about common visual inspection tools used in the welding industry. The visual inspection of welds requires a lot of tools. In my book, I use the VWAC gauge, the fillet weld gauge, and the high-low gauge the most. This is a fillet weld. To inspect a fillet weld properly, we need to know some terminology. This is the face of the weld. From the toe to toe, all of the visual area is the face. The toe is where the weld meets the base material. There are two toes on a fillet weld. Here, we have one on this piece of material, and here, we have one on this piece of material. When we measure the fillet weld, we're gonna measure the size of the leg. That's how far this toe comes out onto the base material. What this means is, is that measurement is gonna give us the size of the weld from this toe out and from this toe up. It's also important to note the contour of the weld. Convex, concave, or flat. A convex profile is where the weld has a little bit of protrusion, taking the shape of a hill. A concave shape is indented into the material, taking the shape of a cave. Flat is simply flat across the face. To inspect this weld, we're gonna start by using these fillet weld gauges. The fillet weld gauge is going to measure the size of the weld particularly the leg size. So what we want to do is place the gauge square to the material and draw that far end to the toe of the weld. If the toe of the weld meets the end of the gauge, that is the size of the weld. In this case, we're looking at a 5 16 fillet weld leg size. Let's go ahead and measure the entire length of the weld. Here, we notice that the toe of the weld doesn't meet the gauge. This is a smaller leg size. Let's measure it with a smaller gauge. This is a quarter of an inch. Right here in this area, the weld size of this leg would be a quarter of an inch. You would repeat the same process with the gauge on the opposite side, measuring the toe of the weld to determine the weld size. This weld measured to a quarter of an inch. That was the narrowest point of the weld. We always want to reference our drawing to make sure we're not over welding or under welding. Another common tool I use is the VWAC gauge. This is going to be used to measure weld height, particularly on groove welds or undercut, which can be applied to a variety of weld joints. We're going to take the VWAC gauge. We're going to look for the undercut along the toes of the weld. Here we see a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that the gauge is flat to the surface of the material and that it's 90 degrees. Then I'm going to take this arm here and I'm going to drop it into the deepest point of the undercut. Once I'm at the deepest point, I hold it with my hand, pull it to the side and look at the measurement. In this case, we're measuring just under a 32nd of an inch. There's also a little bit of undercut over here. Let's go ahead and measure that. Again, same process. Place the gauge flat on the surface of the material. Drop in the end into the deepest point of the undercut. Then remove the gauge. Here, we're looking at about a 64th of an inch. The VWAC gauge can also be used to measure weld reinforcement. That's the height of the weld. To do that, we're going to take the gauge. We're going to find the highest point of the weld or area desired to measure, place the gauge up to the toe of the weld right here at the bottom of that little V, and then drop the armature down. Remove the gauge and check the measurement. This is measuring just shy of 3 16 of an inch. The next visual inspection tool we're gonna to take a look at is the high-low gauge. The high-low gauge is gonna help us measure the root opening and the offset of the weld joint. We're going to show you how to check the offset of the pipe. This is going to be done by using the other end of the gauge. We'll draw these two legs through the root opening 
catch the inside of the pipe and let it place flat on the surface of the material. Tighten the knob, pull it out, and check the measurement indicated on the hash marks of the tapered wedge. Simply draw it in, rotate it, so we're catching both pieces of the material. Tighten the knob, rotate, and check. In this case, we're very close to perfect or zero, so there's virtually any offset at this point in the pipe. You would wanna check all the way around the circumference to make sure that the alignment is correct. And that's how you use the high-low gauge. These three tools that I've just shown you are the ones that I lean on the most as a CWI. Understand, there are many more visual inspection tools available that you can utilize. If you're a welder, you should think about earning your certified welding inspector credential from the American Welding Society to further your career.